Hey, this is uh, Matthew for Level Guide 2, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Minecraft beta multiplayer server, multiplayer server even. Um, so first of all, you want to go into um, Internet, um, Google or whatever, because there's a couple of things you need to download. The first thing is a program called MC Admin, and this is the server software. So if you go, uh, the link's in the description, but if you go down to the bottom of the MC Admin page and click download zip, and uh, then click open and open again um, that's the then this should come up if you're on Windows um, so that's the first thing you need to download, the second thing you need to download is a network program, now this enables you and your friends to connect to the same network and allow you to play together on Minecraft so what you want to do is go back onto Google and type in log me in ha space Hamachi um, again links in the description uh, you'll get to a page like this um, you just want to click on the free version here and then click get started and on the left hand side you'll see download now um, you, you might want to tick the box at the bottom as well um, just to see you agreed to the terms uh, but after that you can pretty much click download now I already have this on my PC so um, I won't need to save it or open it So, but you will so click open or save here um, so I just press cancel, but just ignore my cancel there. Um, so now you've got both programs downloaded. Uh, you want to open up MC Admin, the application. It'll ask you to extract the files. Um, so put it into a well-known file location, such as the documents, for example. Um, it's essential that you extract the files, otherwise the program won't work. So once the file's extracted, go to the new location, which for me is the documents, and uh, open up this application um, for Minecraft and click run. Now you might get a black screen or black box as shown here for the first time you open it up. That does you just leave it, it'll do its own thing and um, will disappear eventually and bring up another window um, which is the server console. Um, just click no thanks to this just now. And here is the console. Um, now this is the first time I'm using this so it'll ask you the things such as the server name and your username so just click for the purposes of this video the server name is going to be level guide 2 and um, you can untick the boxes where you want them on list, listed on the website and things like that so just do as you please on that and um, yeah you can choose your username and game mine is Matthew to one and um, so now you've got the initial setup and MC admin done and um, now we need to go back onto the log me and Hamachi program which we just downloaded earlier uh, so we can set up the network so you can connect to your friends and play together. Uh, so if you open up Logman Hamachi for the first time it might ask you to enter in a user and an ID or just a username and um, doesn't matter what you call it and um, anything you like you don't have to remember it at all um, and once that's done you should have a console like this um, and if you click the power button it will connect you up for the first time. Um, and if that user thing doesn't come up, it might come up after clicking that power button. Um, as you can see, I've already a, a member of a couple of networks here. Um, so just ignore that. Um, for you, it will be blank. But as you can see, it shows you the players I'm connected to. So you want to click this thing here and join or create a new network. Um, and this is important that you remember what your network name and password is called because you need to give this to your friends. Um, in order for them to connect. So this is level guide 2 and level guide is the password. Um, I'm not going to click save but you would click save and that would create the network. So you need to keep note of the user and password for that particular feature um, because uh, your friends will need to download this Hamachi program as well. So um, get your friends to either watch this video or show them yourself but get them to do the exact same thing you did and um, go into the Hamachi page and download the program like I've shown and um, what they want to do is join an existing network instead of creating one and they would enter in the user and password for your network um, for which was level guide 2 and level guide respectively um, and once they click OK that's then connected to the network and that's you've got a connection together uh, which is what you need for this server to work 
Um, and once you're connected, literally that's all you need to do with Hamachi. There's nothing else to it really. Um, back to the MC admin program, the console should still be open. You want to click server properties and uh, for the IP address, you want to look at this number above. This number here, the five point number on Hamachi, because this is going to be the IP address of the server. Um, so you need to keep a note of that. Uh, tell your friends that keep a note of it yourself because when you're on the Minecraft program itself, you want to enter this IP address as the one you want to connect to on Minecraft. So um, you can choose to enable, disable monsters, uh, mobs, animals, or you can make it PvP, which is players against players. Um, it's really up to you what you want to do on that and just click save and uh, that should be everything set up properly so if you can start your server now if you want just click start and then um, it might not work the first couple of times but just keep trying keep closing the program and opening it again and you'll eventually get a screen like this where it will generate a map for you and um, it will have a percentage of how much the map has loaded and uh, that's that's really an indicator of when you can connect because once once that reaches 100 um, percent it's safe to connect and uh, this is the console for the server you can do different commands here if you type in help you'll get a list of them you can fiddle around with that yourself i'm not going to go into great detail on that but that is literally all there is to the server if you click kill the server or stop the server obviously it does what it says in the tin but um yeah if there's any other queries or anything else you want to ask, uh, just leave a comment below. Um, but yeah, it's uh, no port forwarding, nothing complicated like that. Amachi does it all for you, so uh, thanks for watching and subscribe.